powder? Pie? Whether you're a fan of the League of Legends or you're a newbie looking for a new show, the latest series to enter the Netflix Top 10 will not disappoint. Arcane League of Legends is a long-awaited project from the game developer Riot. These nine episodes are all full of compelling storytelling, brilliant and beautiful animation, and, best of all, strong voice acting from some surprising actors. The steampunk fantasy adventure has enlisted some of the best voice talents to bring emotional depth to each character, even the baddies. What's made it more appealing is the unique release style that Netflix is following. This series will be released in batches of three each week, a plan that will keep it on the top 10 list for quite a while. Perhaps it's time for the era of magic. Uh, Hextech. For the era of Hextech. The series revolves around pivotal characters in the ever-changing city of Piltover. Thought to be utopia by the rich that live there, this city clashes with the less affluent Zahn and the corrupt practices and both leading to a clash unlike any other. At the center of this conflict is V, a street kid looking for a big break with some super expensive gadgets. We follow her and a string of other kids, thighs, scientists, and overlords as they discover how connected their worlds are, for better or for worse. Most of these characters are a big deal for League of Legends fans who have been following the story since its installation years ago, but that doesn't take anything from the fresh viewer. Think of Arcane as an epic origin story and the actors behind these legendary characters as vessels. Speaking of the vessel, you heard him, they won't stop, we need to fight back. And if you won't, I will. Now, the voice acting for this cast for this series is huge, and I mean 25 plus actors. Some voice more than one character, showing off their versatility and skill, while others focus on one character and perfect their delivery. So, we're going to look at the characters and show up in the first of three acts. V is a vital character in any League of Legends installment, and here she is voiced by Academy Award nominee Haley Steinfeld. Haley took on the critical role of a young girl looking to save her younger sister in the city. V is a teenager where we join her journey into the underbelly of Bozon and Piltover. Her sister Jinx is a major driver of the plot, so their bonds will be tested and stretched over the coming six episodes. This isn't Haley's first time voice acting, as she played Gwen Scary in the popular Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse film. Though you might know her from upbeat and bubbly films like Pitch Perfect 2, she adapts a grittier tone for this series. Just like her big sister V, Jinx is a vital part of the Arcane series. Fight worked! What? Did you see me? My monkey bomb finally worked! As she and her sister experience much of the dark side that the world has to offer, she is played by the talented Ella Purnell. You know her mostly from the recent released Army of the Dead and, of course, Miss Pergine's Home for Peculiar Children. Jinx is a pretty great character choice because she is both innocent and flawed, and it will be great to show how Jinx grows with her sister and the world around them. She's another iconic character in this world, and it's good to remember that in her younger days, she is known as Powder, and her younger version is played by Mia Sinclair Jenis. That is all before she undergoes that drastic transition transformation. Caitlin Kierman introduces us to the world of Piltover and all of the riches and scientific secrets it has to offer. Though she will grow to be an influential person in the city, we're first taken through her life as a child and the connections she and her family have. Caitlin is a great opposite to the lifestyle of those in Zahn, and she is voiced by Katie Leon. We need to help him. Caitlin's right. We've known Jace for years. Besides, we're his patrons. If anyone is meant to speak up for him, it's us. This Scottish actress is no stranger to big franchises, as she played Cho Chang in the Harry Potter films. She's also trained at the Royal Conservatory of Scotland, where she built her versatility, and while she's comfortable on stage, voice acting seems like a great fit for her. The child version of Caitlin is voiced by actress Molly Harris. The pioneers of science can use it for good. We're the champions of discovery, why fear it? when we can master it. Though we don't get to see much of Jace, I'm sure he'll definitely join the main character list as the series advances. Jace is a genius and his scientific experiments are a major part of his individual story and the events that take place in both cities. Jace is seen tinkering with Hextech magic, which seeks to combine technology and science to harness the powers of magic. This shows up in the trailer as the main theme for season one. Jace is played by Kevin Alejandro, and if you frequent the Netflix series, then you know him from Lucifer. He's no stranger to major series as he's also a appeared in the CW's Arrow and ABC's Grey's Anatomy. He's super excited to play the character and wants fans to see the show for themselves, saying it is so good and creates a style all of its own. I want to help you complete your research. No one thinks it can be done. When you're going to change the world, 
Don't ask for permission. No one shows off the brilliant animation style like the character Victor. Long, lean, and little terrifying at times, Victor is a staple in this universe. Though he does go through a metamorphosis of his own, it's great to see how his mentoring relationship with Jace blossoms. Both he and Jace are science enthusiasts who use the vast resources offered in Piltover to push the boundaries of what science can be. Victor also acts as an apprentice to Heimerdinger, who I'll get to next. He is played by Harry Lloyd. Harry is best known for his role as Viserys Harry's Targaryen in the Game of Thrones and Paul Corsley in Manhattan. Art imitates life here as he really does look like his character. Pretty cool. This is not what Piltover's future looks like, my dear boys. Heimerdinger might not be as a big of a deal as V or Jinx when it comes to League of Legends lore, but he plays a key role as a professor of the prestigious Piltover Academy. Wow, that's a lot. P.S. Heimerdinger helps Victor and Jace hone their skills and he also oversees the city's technological and social progress. Despite his powerful position, he's pretty adorable as a character. Just take a look. He is played by Mike Wingert, whose voice acting resume is pretty extensive. He's also a voice coach and he's appeared in projects like Kung Fu Panda, Legends of Awesomeness, and some Iron Man animated productions, as well as What If and The Princess and the Frog. Spill it, Echo. Uh, okay, well, um, Vander's gotta deal with the enforcers. Jinx's best friend Echo is up next, and though his life hasn't fully matured on screen, he is set to be an impactful part of Jinx and V's life. He is seen in the first part of the series as a close friend to Jinx, and the childhood version of him is played by the popular actor Miles Brown. Miles is best known for his role in ABC's Blackish, but he's also featured in various Nickelodeon and Disney shows. Though we're waiting to see who will play the adult version of Echo, young Echo is just too adorable. Like many other characters, Singe is introduced as a younger version and as character will be closely linked to Silco, the most enigmatic element of the Arcane series. We barely see him, but he is working with Silco to develop some fresh hell for the citizens of both Piltover and Zahn. He is played by Brett Tucker, and the character looks just as terrifying as his work buddy Silco. It comes to those who will do anything. And last but definitely not least, we have Silco, a new character who will serve as Arcane's villain. If looks are anything to go by, he's already occupying that well. He might not show up much in the first three episodes, but rest assured, he will be a big deal. We hear his terrifying voice in the trailer as he explains the dynamics of the power and who truly has it. He is another testament to the brilliant animation, and his voice actor is none other than Jason Spikes. Jason is a real pro when it comes to voiceover. Having played Silico in the Powerpuff Girls and Kid Flash in the Young Justice series. Do I look afraid? No. You look weak. Other characters like Mel, Vander, Grayson, and Benzo will all join the Arcane family in due time, and to be honest, I can't wait to see how those stories develop. Arcane Act 2 premieres November 13th. Well, there you have it. Which characters are your favorite? Are you a fan of the League of Legends? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe and switch on notifications so you can be up to date with the latest videos. I'll see you in the next one. We've got the numbers to beat them. Yeah, let's teach them what it means to mess with us. Yeah. <laughs>